Hey, let's talk about why elements give off light. I'm talking about why is it that when they are subjected to, say, a flame test or a, a maybe electricity from uh, the gas discharge tubes, getting electricity put through them to make them glow, why do the elements glow? Uh, the answer has to do with the structure of the atom, more specifically, the Bohr model. Now, Niels Bohr in 1911 proposed that instead of being randomly scattered as they were in the Rutherford model of the atom, the electrons, in order to produce the different kinds of light made by different kinds of elements, must be arranged into energy levels where they can exist in one energy level or another, but not in between. So he said, okay, electrons might start at one energy level. That's E minus four electron right there. If it absorbs energy, it can rise to a higher energy level, either go up one or go up two or whatever it may be. So energy absorbed. This is the ground state. If it absorbs energy, it rises to an excited state. It can be any energy level above where it started at. So this is an excited state. This is a potential excited state, whatever. Um, so the energy, if it's absorbed, will not be held on forever. The idea was, okay, that energy must be getting released as the electron comes back down to where it started. So the electron comes up here after it absorbs energy, and then it goes back down after it releases that energy. Energy that gets released in the form of light. And a big falling one energy level would make a lower energy light compared to falling maybe two or three energy levels. And so that's the reason why atoms give off light during a flame test or when they are um, being s subjected to that, like the electricity flowing through them in a gas discharge tube. It's the whole idea that the electron absorbs the energy and then releases that as light as it falls back down to the lower energy level that it started at.